Hey guys, Mapboy46 here, as you can see right there, with another World of Tanks video. Um, I uploaded a video a couple days ago when I was hurting for Wi-Fi and data. And I promised that I would go on a more in-depth tour of the tanks mentioned. I kind of mentioned the tanks very, very quickly. And just kind of skipped over a lot of them. But, so, as you can see here, we have the medium 2, the British medium tier 2 tank. So, yeah, it looks an awful lot like the Vickers medium 1. And from what this, from what the cruisers were in this tech tree here, yeah, from what the cruisers 3... Four, the Covenanter, the Crusader, and the Cromwell were. I did not expect, especially for these two, just how much they sucked. I mean, it it was horrible. Um, so let's let's look at them. Here we can see it only has two hundred eighty hit points. It's whole armor, front, sides, and rear, all together, is only 8. Turret armor is exactly the same. It weighs 14.13 tons. Engine power, not too great. Speed limit is 40, which, when this first, when this tank first came out... Oh, that's why. Um, I played this game again or I played uh, this tank again afterwards, and I had only had this engine, which, eh, kind of sucked. And I was only hitting a top speed of, like, eh, 20. Like, the speed limit would reach 40, but that was if I was going down a very, very steep slope. However, this actually has the engine power and the grunt to get it up there, 240. Yeah, there's only 110 there and 160 there. That 50 really made a difference, because now I can cruise at about 30-ish. I mean, going uphill is still a pain in the butt, but, you know. Only so much you can do. So, rate of fire with this Tier 4 gun on it. Um, uh, Not that bad for shell damage. Uh, Penetration... Nah. Uh, rate of fire, 8 rounds per minute. I could go up to this 12 rounds per minute, or even to, there was one, no, that's, yeah. But the shell damage just isn't there, and I'd rather trade shell damage for, you know, actually hurting the enemy for, instead of, uh, just keep, hitting them, but not actually doing anything. Uh, 2.3 second aiming time, that's not bad. It's not great. Dispersion, eh, 0.74. So, you're not gonna be sniping with this tank, really. Especially if you have this gun on it. This gun, I think the dispersion is, yeah, no, that's, it's not really that much better on anything. They're decent guns. This tank gets decent guns. But if you get shot at by anything, it it's almost useless angling your armor. Like, you could angle your armor there, hit, get hit right here, and still take damage. You could get hit, like, here, get hit here, and take damage. Even from that angle. I mean, everything is going to penetrate this. It's built like a tank that is supposed to stay back and snipe. However, the gun does not allow that. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it for what I can show you in the garage. Um, now let's take it into battle. Alright, here we are. I had a small amount of technical difficulties so I'm arriving kind of late to this battle but yeah with that even the first or second engine apparently we're being told by two staying groups by the enemy 
Um, okay. Like, eh, I don't know. See, going uphill, I quickly lost about 10, 10, 11 kilometers an hour. I mean, it's, this, this thing is just so slow going uphill. However, on even ground, it gets up to 35. Which, with that first engine or the second engine, you you pretty much got 35 going downhill. The only time you really got 40 was when you were dropping vertically. So... It's probably a dumb move to come up here already. Oh, BT-7. Let's have some of you. See, we don't do great damage, but we gotta get down here, behind the cover of these rocks. T-82 is coming up for some. Pretty decent reload time. Kill taken. He's behind rocks. Oh, that's a nice shot. And no damage done. I haven't loaded any premium. Yeah, I don't I didn't buy any premium ammo. Uh one thing I'll tell you, I bought a ton of gold. There's a kill. I bought a ton of gold and converted all like a bunch of free experience. Because I just got tired of losing in the IS. Which, yeah, I got an IS. Okay. Taking shots from someone else. Oh, you're on low health. Why not? Okay, that was a bad idea. Come on, poke out. Nope, miss. Yep, bad situation, bad situation. Come on. Oh, yep, there's the gun accuracy. Really showing itself off there. And taken out by the T-20. Or T-26. Yeah, there wasn't a whole lot I could do there. As you could see, everything that hit me, even from the, uh... What was that? Oh, T-2 medium? Yeah, I'd... I'm surprised he doesn't have the other gun. Or maybe I'm... No, not the M3 medium. Yeah, it's the T-2 medium, right? Okay, so this battle's over. I think we kind of won this. Everything is on either low health or close to near it. However, if our guys don't get down there... Go! Some people. Put that back there. Come on, man. You're in a cruiser. You're fast. You, you can do... Pretty good damage. Come on. Okay, you're boring. This Panzer 38T's got more guts than the cruiser. The cruiser is a good tank. I'm not saying this isn't a good tank, but the line of tanks, this small tier 2 through 4. Yeah, I didn't really like these tanks, these three tanks. I kind of struggled through them. Yay, we won. GG. So, there was that. I still got Mastery Badge 3rd Class. And I only got, what, one kill? Two kills? No, one kill. How much damage did I do? Okay, one second. I will be right back. Alright guys, here we are in the medium 3, eh, it looks like a boat, <laughs> that's all I'm going to say about its appearance. Okay, so moving on to its stats, it's got 420 hit points, front armor 14mm thick, sides and rear is only 9, turret armor 14 all around, weight, eh, it's 4 tons heavier. But it makes up for it with the engine power. Speed limits 8 kilometers faster than the uh, medium 3. Or medium 2. Uh, not much else to say. It's damage is... Uh, 
It's only, eh, meh. Not much better. Uh, view range doesn't really... Eh, yeah, it's better, but not by much. Dispersion, aiming time, meh. Aiming time is not that bad. The problem with the medium 2 and the medium 3 is they're bad tanks with good guns. Except, well, the medium 3 is a horrible tank with a... Eh, meh gun. It's very decent. It's not great. It's not outstanding or anything. The medium 2 is just a horrible tank with a good gun. So, that's enough about that. As far as stats go, let's jump into a battle really quick. Alright guys, here we are in the medium 3. Eh, it's not great. I mean, you definitely want to stay back toward the back of the pack, which I'm not doing. I should really stop and let them pass. Don't hit me. Don't hit me. Don't hit me. You hit me. Alright, let them go up, spot, and get in the way. LTP. It's got a decent rate of fire. Come on, dot, dot, dot. Thanks, medium two. You just kept blocking my entire view. That's great. Um, yeah, the, what? Two of our guys are already dead. Okay, then. Um, M2 medium. Let's hit you. Or not. What? What, what are you guys doing? This is actually a fairly big tank. Which can be good and bad. It can be good because... Actually, I don't see any way it can actually be good. You're just a giant target. Let's face the front toward the enemy. I'm gonna die here. There's no way I'm winning in this. Right now, it's just, let's see how much damage I can do, because, yep, everything's hitting me. See, he hit me from the front and at about this angle. At about that angle. He still did, oh, that's why. High explosive rounds. Yeah, that, that's why I love the M2. It's great tank with a great gun. Well, that was over quickly. Um, I don't think that was a accurate portrayal of... This tank. So, let's go into another one really quick. So, here we are. Fort Despair. Accurately named, because I never seem to win on this map. And I always seem to die. No matter what I do. Like, even if I'm top tier, I'll be killed by... I don't know, something that's not even close to top tier. So... Let's do this. Let's get up to that. Actually, pretty decent speed. Again, I didn't have the engine upgraded the first time I played this. I was just sort of grinding through it. But it's got a pretty decent speed to it. It's not slow, but it's not fast. Let's hit you. Don't aim at me. My armor is the equivalent of paper. Eh, it's more like newspaper, at least from the front. Speaking of front, I should probably aim or angle. Set him on fire. And yay, kill. So he is also on fire. Let's see about this T-18, mm, don't want to go into the crossfire of that guy, eh, screw it, 
nope, 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 nope. Oh, come on. Really, really, come on. Yes. Another kill. Ammo rack hit. Yes, we are. Uh, martyr. Can I hit you through the boxes? I can. I can't. I can. Yeah. Maximum use of whatever. So, what's left? T18? Watch him be AFK. Oh no, he's not quite AFK. Well, he might be AFK now. Let's hope he's AFK, because... So, GG. That wasn't that bad. And I didn't have time to send it. <sighs> Cursed assist of touch. Why you gotta get in the way. Yeah, Mastery Badge 3rd Class. Again. It's not... Eh. Two kills. They didn't do great. I mean, 364 damage. But, like I said, not... Bad tank, good gun. If this tank had more armor enough for it to actually be called a medium tank, then it would be pretty good. I wouldn't have any problems with it. It's just the fact that the armor is crap and you can't actually fight anything. At least not on the front lines. So that's that for this tank. I will be right back for something even better. And I love the next tank that's coming up. So... We are down to the Matilda. Why can't I do anything? That would be why. Yeah, I stopped, ate some lunch. Guess I was going for longer than I thought. The game had to re-synchronize or whatever. So, yeah, the Matilda. This tank is a complete beast. I love it. It's my f second favorite tank in the game, after the KV-1S, which I'll be showing this off in its own review in a later video, like, a lot later. But this is about the Matilda. So, going up from that medium 3 to this thing is like... Uh, let's see, it's got the Matilda... Why is this being all weird? There. The Matilda has 170 more hit, point, hit points. It has 61 more armor on the front and sides. 49 more in the rear. The turret armor is 61 millimeters all around. It actually weighs less. No, it weighs 8.4 Three tons more than the medium three. However, it has... It's a very slow tank. Its shell damage, though, is 110 uh, damage better. This is just a very good all-around tank. But, oh, yes... Finally, something with armor and life. Uh, which gun is better? This or that? This is a faster rate of fire. Armor piercing is the same. But this has high explosive. Yeah. I'm sticking with this gun. This gun would happen to be the... Gun OQF 3 inch howitzer mark 1. Oh, this tank is awesome. I love this tank. So, um, time to stop talking about it and head into a battle. Alright, guys, so here we are in. I don't remember the name of this place. But. The Matilda! Yeah, let's do this. Let's go off toward the bridge. Probably not gonna get any help 
at all except from this T40. Doesn't look like anyone else is following. Is that Hetzer? No, he's not AFK. He's just going to be sniping. You know, I'm pretty sure that Hetzer's... Yeah, that Hetzer's above me. He should be out here helping. And actually doing stuff. But, so, tier 4 match. Tier 3's... Nothing too difficult, I don't think. I'm mid-tier. Let's see how I do. So far, enemy has been spotted. Can't even hit him. And I've been spotted probably by them, too. Let's keep going, keep going. How about this T-40? T-40 just took a chunk out of the M2. Let's get the M2 really quick. One less tank to have to worry about. You hurt our optics. I hurt your face. Let's see, what else we got? We got a T-28, shouldn't be too difficult. Let's get up close and personal. Hey, T-28. Enemy armor is damaged. Yep, 200 health gone. H how about another slice? You want another slice of cake? Another one sure. I'll you. give you another slice of cake. Come on. Here, ha have a... Or don't have a third piece. Alright, I guess he was tired of cake. Let's see, what else? It's really hard to show in these... In Blitz, how great the Matilda actually is. I mean, it's slow, like you don't want to go chasing after teams. You kind of want to stay toward the cap. Which is completely the opposite of what I did. We got the Hetzer back there still, T40, and me. Me and the Hetzer are the only ones that can really finish this off. The T40 takes a couple hits and he'll be dead shortly. So, where are they going? They probably think we're all at our original spawn point. Yep, there's one. Oh, oh yes, please, just ricochet the crap out of this. LTP, don't have to worry about you. Yeah, I'm gonna get my tracks taken out. Eh, whatever. Come on. He's running away. Uh, I'll take you as a target. Why not? No? No one? Anyone wanna hurt me? Come on. You guys got to be better than that. Come on. Can't be that easy. I'm just sitting here. I'm a sitting duck. Come on. What about you, LTP? You still want some? Yeah, I think you still want some. Here you go. Here, Here's a nice little chunk. Let's see. What else we got? Ooh, we got a... We still got that Covenanter. And he's dead. GG. It's a nice match. Have fun. So, that happened. Yeah. This kind of layout is what you'll see almost every time you're in a Matilda. Mastery badge second class. Steel wall. Cool headed. And... Added some to the Abrams medal, apparently. Let's see, I got three kills. Did the most damage. Four medals. Let's see what the detailed was. I only fired nine shots. Nine of them hit. Nine of them penetrated. Splash damage, none. Enemies damaged. I damaged five enemies. Destroyed three. Damage caused, 1,077 damage. There are tier sixes that do that much damage and are like, meh. That was a decent game. 
Uh, enemy spotted. I'm too slow to spot anything. Uh, damage caused with my assistance, only... Actually, none. I received 46 hits. Only 9 of them penetrated. 37 without damage. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see what I did. So, to the M2, I damaged him. I only did 21 damage. Eh, not much. Um, I took out his commander. No, not his commander. His radio operator. Right? That's what that is? Yeah. And I took out his tracks. With the T-28, I took out his tracks and hurt his uh, gunner. Or killed his gunner. Didn't do anything but hit the Covenanter. Oh, the LTP. He was probably having a bad day. I hit him twice. Took out all of his health. Hit his ammo rack. Hit his uh, turret. Killed his commander and killed his loader. Let's see. The BT-7 killed his driver and his loader. Yeah. You can do a lot of damage in this tank. Uh, auto repair. Yeah, I still... Even without premium, I still got 16,000, almost 17,000 credits. That's awesome. Uh, yeah. 2,028 experience. Yeah. The Matilda, everybody. You know what? I think I want to have another battle in this. Yeah, I'm going to show you guys another battle in this. Let's do it. So, here we are in Winter Malinovka. I'm actually going to ask for a push. Can I get a push? Otherwise, it's just going to take me forever. I think the T-82? Uh, T-82. I don't think you're going to be able to assist me very much. It's not like you're heavy or anything. So, yeah, this time, very similar setup, only this time there's four Matildas. What? You just sat there and parked? Okay. Yes, I'm coming, Panzer 38. You can only go so fast. My top speed is like 20. Actually, I think it's more like 30 something. 35, something like that. I don't know. But, yeah, so, let's do this, eventually. Wait, is that a turtle passing me? Wait, 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 oh, Hetzer. Thank you. That did nothing. You know, your shots are all practically coming down vertical with this gun. It just has such a high firing arc. This is probably a bad idea. What? That's around my health. And... Oh, no, 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 no. Get out of the way of that thing. Oh, yes. Oh, come on, you wanna fight me? I'll fight ya. No damage has been dealt to me just yet. And 3 Lee has moved up to higher ground. Doesn't have great gun depression though, so I'm not too worried right now. Hello, fellow Matilda. I have more health than you. You have taken out my turret. Yeah, let's fix that. It's slow enough to turn as it is. Let's hit you in the back. Matilda, Matilda, you're not supposed to be giving your backside to me. That's not how this works. Your armor's in the front, silly. Oh, it's okay. I'll hurt you anyway. Alright, I need to save some rounds for the other Matilda. 
Oh, you're dead, okay. Take you on the side. It's a high explosive round. High explosive rounds don't bounce. Oh, the commander. Oh, why the commander? So, let's see what we can do here. That just missed. Dude, your armor is in the front. You've got, what, 47 millimeters of armor or something in the front? I mean, jeez, my high explosive can hurt you from back here. What are you doing? Some people. I mean, it's not like his uh, engine is completely taken out. I don't even think he's doing anything to me. I am taking damage though from somewhere. Which isn't good. Why wasn't I moving? Okay, so... That was weird. Uh, apparently my baby sister wants chocolate. So, yeah, the Matilda, everybody. It's a uh, very fun tank to play in. A lot of people don't realize that... How much armor was there? Yeah, 75 millimeters of frontal armor. 70 on the sides, 55 in the rear. Why don't people realize to face their armor in the front... To, uh, some people. I mean, I wasn't exactly aiming my armor or angling it at all very well with the M3 Lee, but let's look past that. So, we've gone over the Matilda, the M3 Lee in the, or not the M3 Lee, the Medium 3, M3, Medium 3, yeah, you know, uh, in the Medium 2, Medium 2 and the Medium 3 are horrible tanks. I'm not gonna chocolate. Okay, I'll be right back. My baby sister wants chocolate. Okay, I'm back. Um, sorry about that. So, yeah. That was fun. So, we went over the... Like I was saying, we went over the Medium 2. Bad tank, good gun. The Medium 3... Horrible tank, nee, gun. Matilda, great tank, great gun. Oh, the engine. The engine is just horrible. If it wasn't for the engine, this would be, like, the best tank ever. As far as tier 4. It's really a great tank. So, on that note... Uh, that's the end of this video. Like, subscribe, comment. Uh, yeah. That's about it. If you know, if you have any tips for how to do great and even better in the Matilda, then post them in the comments. Other than that, uh, peace out. <laughs>